the final race of the penultimate week of the season is the Canada Bronze Cup. Two month four, naught ninety three rolls and up. Big prize money on offer. Crop Duster eleven to ten favourite after a big win last week. Maundy Thursday is four to one for Nick. Melt Velvet Monkey five to one for James Shea. Super six thirty three for Martin. Captain Morgan sixteen for Matt Cooper. Prize Princess thirteen to two for Nick. And eight to one is Mumbles Pier for Alex Cherry. Only seven go to post for this long slog of a marathon in Canada. Going to be a lot of babbling here, I'd imagine, from me, but you'll have to put up with it. Tough. Captain Morgan is in front as they get through the first furlong from Crop Duster, Velvet Monkey, Maundy Thursday, Super Six, Price Princess, and Mumbles Pier go to the back of the pack as Captain Morgan decides to make the best of its way home here and powers on in front. Super Six is in second. Crop Duster in third, uh, Naughty Thursday is fourth, Velvet Monkey on the outside of that one in fifth, Prize Princess in sixth, and Mumbles Pier in seventh as they move on down towards the two mile mark. <coughs> it is Captain Morgan by about three lengths. From Crop Duster, Super Six, Velvet Monkey, Maundy Thursday, Prize Princess, and Mumbles Pier. I think this is probably the tenth time all of these have probably met each other, considering the spread of horses at the distances. So they all know each other very well. No need to sniff each other's bottoms. Hopefully that doesn't go on in the horse world, like the dog world. But Captain Morgan is in front by three lengths. Turn the camera around. I want to go back in the lake. I need to cool off after chatting rubbish for... 10 minutes. Captain Morgan in front by three lengths as they go down towards the 12 furlong point. Crop Duster going well. Here's those idiots on the inside of the track again. Why are you standing there? Go in, pay to get in the grandstands, you fools. Captain Morgan in front by three lengths from Crop Duster. Velvet Monkey. Super Six. Prize Princess. Maundy Thursday and Mumbles Pier is cruising around at the back of the pack as they come past the winner's circle, winner's post, or whatever you want to call it. You can tell I've pretty much had enough of this for today, and it's nice to finish off with a lovely two-mile four handicap round the back suburbs of Toronto. Fantastic. Captain Morgan in front, 10 furlongs to go. Crop Duster is second. Actually, I don't know where. Wood, is this Woodbine? Was Woodbine in Toronto? I can't remember. Anyway, Captain Morgan in front by two lengths to Crop Duster. Velvet Monkey travelling well for James Shea in third. Price Princess has been pushed up to fourth, followed by Super Six in fifth, and Maundy Thursday in sixth. And Mumbles Pier is quite far behind now and getting the giddy up to try and get a bit closer in seventh as they come round the bend. Um, just under a mile left to go. Crop Duster is now going to try and put it up to Captain Morgan. We know Crop Duster stays all day. They're about as quick as a Crop Duster, but it's still quicker than this lot. As Captain Morgan and Crop Duster now takes them on around the outside. Velvet Monkey is still in third. Price Princess is still in fourth. Super Six is still in fifth. Maundy Thursday is still in sixth. And Mumbles Pier is disappearing off the back end of the screen and struggling. Five furlongs left to go. Still a long way to go here in the Bronze Cup. Quite a lot of prize money on offer here. Some big money for the smaller trainers on offer. Captain Morgan now takes it back on Crop Duster. And they are going toe for toe at the front. Still not going massively quickly. Crop Duster is pretty cr cruising pretty comfortably out in front at the moment. Captain Morgan is full down on the pump. Velvet Monkey and Super Six are trying to push on. Looks like Maundy Thursday is going to get ready for her run soon. Mumbles Pier is still stuck at the back of the pack. Crop Duster has gone a length and a half clear and is probably in prime position as they go past the Wallys on the inside of the rail with two furlongs left to go. Crop Duster is in front and goes away from Captain Morgan, who is plugging on nicely. The rest of Miles too far back to get involved here. Crop Duster is winding its way down towards the final furlong, and it's probably not going to get beaten here. Captain Morgan's race is run after being in front the whole way. The rest of them are not even closing. Crop Duster has done this in fine style and chugs over the line 
in slow but a winning manner. Crop Duster wins the Bronze Cup. Let's go through the final result of the penultimate week of the season. There's your winner in slow motion. Not that you could get any slower than the actual race, but Crop Duster, your 11 to 10 favourite. Favourite backers in Clover, they're all going home happy. More wallies there on the edge of the rail. Go and pay your entrance fee, you weirdos. Crop Duster for Paul Parsons, 11 to 10, winner of the kind of the Bronze Cup. 150,000 going his way. Captain Morgan stayed on for second after keeping the running for the most of the race. 33 to 1. Maundy Thursday stayed on for third at 7 to 2. Super 6 was fourth at 28 to 1. Velvet Monkey was fifth at 5 to 1 for James Shape. Price Princess was sixth for Nick at 6 to 1. Mumbles Pier couldn't get competitive. Probably needs five, five miles, never mind two and a half miles. And was seventh at seven to one.